Prosecutors have asked for a jail term of up to 16 years for the former director of failed Geelong investment company Chartwell Enterprises. Graham Hoy was remanded in custody today after a plea hearing. The Supreme Court heard Chartwell was the biggest Ponzi scheme yet to come before an Australian court. Graham Hoy, who traded without a financial services licence, has pleaded guilty to squandering more than $15 million entrusted to him by investors. Many lost their life savings. One of them was Diane Saba, who also blames Chartwell for her husband's death. We were asking for our money back again. No, your money's safe. Go home and don't worry. He knew. He knew it was all gone. What did he do to your life? My husband died three days after Chartwell went into liquidation. The court heard Mr Hoy used Chartwell money to buy a yacht and make payments on a Rolls Royce. He's due to be sentenced sometime in the next fortnight.